we just announced our market outlook for India, which is uh, for next 20 years, we think India will need 1,740 airplanes worth 240 billion US dollars, and over 80% of them will be single aisle airplanes. But the reason this outlook is so positive compared to the last one is based on many factors. And some of those factors are what has been the historical data, what kind of infrastructure growth is happening in India, what is the economic situation, what is the disposable income of Indians, and what is the fuel price, and what will be the long-term fuel price. When you factor all this, this is how we get this outlook, which is so comfortable. If you look at the data for 2014, uh, the DGCA data says about 66 million passengers flew in India last year. We are predicting this year that number to exceed 75 million, which is based on hard facts for the last six months. Having said that, that itself is about a 13% growth, which basically justifies what our numbers are. We think on a long-term basis, India's growth rate, which will be the highest in the world, is about 8.6%. So by meshing those two and looking at the factors which we have looked in the past and which we look at future, we are very comfortable about this number. So what happens in India is the fuel price sensitivity is very high in India. In fact, uh, when the fuel prices are high, about 45 to 50 percent of the total cost is in the fuel. Today, because the fuel prices are significantly low, half of what they were a year ago, we see that number dropping to something like 25 to 30 percent. So because that number has come down so much, and airlines have been tightening their belt in terms of synergies of maintenance, cutting down the fat, doing all the things they can to maintain their profitability or reduce their losses, we think they are now reached a break-even stage. Now, if the oil prices stay where they are, and second factor being the exchange rate, if that doesn't go up very much, I think that there's a real good chance that we will see airlines in India will be profitable. The data I showed you was for the May, and since May, the fuel prices have further come down, and the May data showed us close to the break-even, so we feel at the present fare levels, we should be able to see profitability in the Indian market.